The constellation of Orion the Hunter has captivated stargazers for millennia. Within this celestial tableau lies Betelgeuse, a celestial giant nearing the end of its stellar life. Betelgeuse is classified as a red supergiant, a testament to its immense size and advanced evolutionary stage. This luminous giant resides approximately 640 light-years away from Earth, a relatively close neighbor in cosmic terms. Its distinctive reddish hue is readily visible to the naked eye, marking it as a prominent member of Orion's familiar pattern. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse dwarfs our own sun in both size and luminosity. Its diameter is estimated to be hundreds of times larger than the sun's, so vast, that if it were to replace our star, its outer layers would extend beyond the orbit of Mars. Despite its enormous size, Betelgeuse is significantly cooler than the sun, hence its reddish appearance. This coolness is a consequence of its advanced age and the processes unfolding within its core. Unlike smaller stars that burn steadily for billions of years, massive stars like Betelgeuse live fast and die young. Their immense gravity creates intense pressure and heat in their cores, driving rapid nuclear fusion reactions. These reactions power the star's immense energy output, but also lead to a relatively short lifespan, measured in millions rather than billions of years. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of this stellar fuel supply, setting the stage for a spectacular demise. The end for a star like Betelgeuse is not a quiet fade into darkness, but a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova. This explosive event will release an unimaginable amount of energy, briefly outshining entire galaxies and scattering the star's enriched material across the cosmos. The anticipation of this cosmic spectacle has astronomers and the public alike eagerly watching Betelgeuse for any signs of its impending demise. In late 2019, Betelgeuse captured the attention of the astronomical community and the wider public when it began to dim dramatically. This unexpected dimming event sparked intense speculation that the star was on the verge of exploding as a supernova. The dimming continued into early 2020, reaching a minimum brightness that was significantly fainter than its usual brilliance. Telescopes around the world were trained on Betelgeuse, eager to capture any signs of the anticipated celestial fireworks. However, Betelgeuse did not explode. Instead, after several months of dimmed luminosity, the star gradually began to brighten again, eventually returning to its normal brightness. The astronomical community breathed a collective sigh of relief, the immediate threat of a supernova seemingly averted. The dimming event, while not the harbinger of imminent doom, provided valuable insights into the dynamics of these stellar giants. Several theories were proposed to explain the dramatic dimming of Betelgeuse. One leading explanation involved the ejection of a massive cloud of gas and dust from the star's surface. This ejected material much cooler than the star itself would have partially obscured Betelgeuse's light, leading to the observed dimming. Another theory suggested that large-scale changes in the star's surface temperature or convection patterns were responsible for the fluctuations in brightness. While the exact cause of the dimming remains a subject of ongoing research, the event served as a stark reminder of the dynamic and unpredictable nature of these celestial objects. Betelgeuse, despite its temporary reprieve, remains a prime candidate for a supernova explosion in the relatively near future, at least on astronomical timescales. The dimming episode only heightened the anticipation and underscored the importance of continuous monitoring. Michio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist and science communicator, has been vocal about the inevitability of Betelgeuse's supernova and the need for continued observation. Kaku emphasizes that while we cannot predict the exact timing of the event, it is a question of when, not if, Betelgeuse will meet its explosive fate. He stresses the importance of using every available tool to study this celestial neighbor, as it offers a rare opportunity to witness and analyze one of the most powerful events in the universe. Kaku highlights the value of studying supernovae like the one Betelgeuse will produce. These events are not only visually stunning but also crucial to our understanding of the universe. Supernovae are responsible for seeding the cosmos with heavy elements, the very building blocks of planets and life itself. By studying these explosions, we gain insights into the origins of the elements that make up our world and our very existence. Furthermore, Kaku points out that, observing Betelgeuse's supernova, will allow scientists to test and refine their models of stellar evolution. By comparing theoretical predictions with actual observations, we can improve our understanding of the life cycle of stars, from their formation in stellar nurseries to their dramatic deaths. 
The data collected from Betelgeuse's supernova will be invaluable for generations of astronomers to come. Kaku's call for continuous monitoring is echoed throughout the astronomical community. Telescopes around the world and in space are regularly pointed at Betelgeuse, tracking its brightness, temperature and other characteristics. These observations provide a wealth of data that helps us understand the star's behavior and anticipate its eventual demise. The scientific community is poised to capture every detail of Betelgeuse's supernova, eager to unlock the secrets held within its explosive death throes. Betelgeuse, like all stars, is engaged in a constant battle against gravity. The star's immense mass exerts an inward pull, attempting to collapse it upon itself. This inward force is counteracted by the outward pressure generated by nuclear fusion reactions occurring in the star's core. For most of a star's life, these two forces remain in equilibrium, allowing the star to maintain a stable size and luminosity. However, this balance cannot last forever. As a star ages, it gradually exhausts the hydrogen fuel in its core. For a star like Betelgeuse, this process leads to the fusion of heavier elements, ultimately forming an iron core. Iron is the end of the line for stellar fusion, as fusing iron requires more energy than it releases. With the core no longer able to generate the outward pressure to support the star's immense weight, gravity takes over. The core collapses in on itself with incredible speed, reaching phenomenal temperatures and densities. This collapse triggers a shockwave that propagates outward through the star's layers, ripping it apart in a cataclysmic explosion, a supernova. The energy released in this explosion is staggering, briefly outshining entire galaxies. The core, crushed by the immense pressure, forms either an incredibly dense neutron star or, in the case of the most massive stars, a black hole. The outer layers of the star are blasted into space, carrying with them the heavy elements forged in the star's core during its lifetime and in the supernova explosion itself. These elements, scattered across vast distances, enrich the interstellar medium, becoming the raw materials for future generations of stars and planets. In a sense, stars like Betelgeuse are cosmic alchemists, transforming lighter elements into heavier ones and seeding the universe with the ingredients for life.